Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle and for today's bonus Tools Day video, we're gonna talk about keeping your hands warm during the winter, so let's get into it. One of the biggest questions I get all the time on my channels, whether it's over on Instagram or here on YouTube, is what do you guys do to keep your hands warm because you're out there working in the snow and the cold and still using screws and nails? Well, let me tell you, it's not using some gloves like this. These are the heated Milwaukee gloves that, they're cool. I don't think I would ever buy them for the price point. I don't need them, but you can't work in these. These are great. I actually wear these sometimes when it's super cold and I'm going snowboarding and they do work quite well, but honestly, they are so big. I feel like I got like Darth Vader gloves on or something when I'm wearing them. What, what we're gonna talk about is some gloves that I think over the years I've used that give me great dexterity. The biggest conundrum for most construction workers is comfort versus function. So I've already done a winter gear video. I did it last winter and it really featured a lot of the true work gear that I wear, me and the guys wear on site. And honestly, it is the best gear that I've used and I still to this day wear it every single day. Not a whole lot has changed. They've got a lot of different layers and a lot of different base layer options that they've come out with that are awesome. But I probably won't do that video this winter because I don't think there's enough change. Just know that if you're looking for some great winter gear like bibs and coats and whatnot, go check that video out. I think I can put a link of, of it here or down below in the description. We're talking about gloves because as a contractor working outside, you know, you want to be able to feel your fingertips. So you got to have good warm gloves, but at the same time, you want to be able to reach into your pouch and grab out some screws and not be dropping them all over the ground. And that, that comes with dexterity in your gloves. So there's like this fine line between dexterity and comfort. And what I noticed was uh, these Milwaukee cut level gloves, they're great till like you get down into the 40s, maybe upper 30s, you'd be okay, but there's really no insulation in them. Although they do have like a really good dexterity because they're super thin. So I can come in here and grab my screws, no problem. But once it gets a little bit colder out, you gotta do something different. Now they've got these gloves here, which are a cut level one glove, which means they're gonna prevent you from getting cut to a certain degree, but you obviously can still get cut through them. Now, these gloves have, have been probably my go-to glove for the last year or so, and they do a really good job. I can still reach in my pouch and get the screws that I need and feel like I have fairly good dexterity. I can feel them a little bit. But the biggest problem with these gloves that I guess I, I will let you know and I've heard it from a lot of different people, is they're great at, at the first couple days. When you start sweating in them or you start really using and abusing them, the liner will come off when you pull your hand out. So that, it doesn't take away the, I guess, the warmth or dexterity of the glove itself. It's just super annoying when you put your hand back in there and you gotta get your pinky back in the pinky hole because the liner is not out. So Milwaukee, great glove you gotta fix the liner. Just put a couple stitch points in it so it can't come out. And this glove here is what I used to use all the time. Now, these are harder to find. Uh, I think I get them on Amazon and I will drop links to these gloves if I can, if I can find a good source for you to buy them. These are Power Grab by Thermo and uh, Power Grab Thermo by Toa, actually, I do believe. Now, this is the only one I could find left. I bought like a 24 pack, maybe like five years ago and they held up really well. What I like about these gloves is I felt like they maybe are a hair warmer. They didn't seem to last as well as these Milwaukee ones because there's no cut resistance to these things. So they, they break down and they get destroyed quite easily, but there's no liner. So it's like, if I could put these two together, that would be awesome. I did try these gloves, which I think they have a great application, but they were like almost too warm for me. These are Ninja Ice, and I don't remember who makes these, uh, Memphis, I guess. The thing with these gloves is, first off, my hands were a little bit too big for the larges that I bought. And once you can kind of see, it just looks weird. Like the fingers 
are just weirdly shaped on this glove and they are super warm and your hands will sweat in them because they have a full water membrane protection so they're not gonna get your hands wet, which in the winter time is like one of the worst things ever when you get water in. The problem is your hands will sweat and then they're cold from the inside out. Also, there's no cut resistance to these gloves either. So I don't use them unless I'm gonna be doing like some wet snow removal, I'll put these on sometimes. Now here we've got Milwaukee Cut Level 3 gloves, which are basically the same as these, a little bit more cut resistance, a little bit thicker. But when, when I put these on, they're just, I don't really have any good feeling in my fingertip. Like if I really am working in some cold weather, I would use these because it's, I'm gonna definitely be sacrificing my dexterity for that warmth. And they're definitely, I got a lot more protection on my fingers from getting wet, which we're dealing with material outside, steel gets wet. There's nothing worse than wet, cold hands. So these do a lot better job at keeping your hands warm and dry uh, while still allowing them to breathe a little bit with this mesh backing and giving you that cut resistance. Now, if you're not gonna need dexterity, I haven't, I haven't had a whole lot of time in these gloves. These are new glove that Milwaukee came out with. And honestly, they're probably just like any other glove out there that is like this nature. To me, there's zero dexterity. Like these big fat fingertips, I can grab stuff, but I would never be able to, I would, I would drop a million screws if I was trying to use these or nails while I was out on the job site. So I think these are great if you're just out doing some material movement or something where you just needed some quick, warm glove. But once again, I don't know what Milwaukee's doing. The liner on these gloves is just a real pain in the butt. So this is what I use. I'm not saying there's not better options out there. I just get this question all the time and I want to share what I'm doing for anybody out there. One thing I will say that I've yet to do that a lot of people do respond to my, I guess, DMs or send me messages is get yourself some cotton gloves with those neoprene or latex gloves underneath. So you just put those little thin, cheap gloves underneath and that kind of acts like a barrier to hold all that warmth in and then a nice cotton glove over top. Honestly, I've never done it. I just keep rocking these because they seem to be the best mix between warmth, dexterity, uh, durability, I get my cut level resistance, which is a big deal for me working with steel throughout the winter. Cold, wet hands and steel do not mix. They get cut very easily. So I hope that helps you guys. The Milwaukee cut levels are good. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I would buy these gloves when I run out. I will buy them again. So I will put some links below. Hopefully this helps somebody. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. If there's another glove out there that is like epic and awesome for dexterity and warmth, because selfishly, that's what I want. I want, I want someone to tell me where the best glove is so I can stop wasting time with anything else if there's something better. So thanks a lot for the view, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you guys learned something and um, we'll catch you guys on the next video.